Johnny Egan, Hartford legend, NBA star, dies at 83. Johnny Egan, who soared above the playgrounds of Hartford as a teenager, led Weaver High to a New England championship and went on to star at Providence College and play and coach in the NBA, died Thursday in Houston after an illness following a fall. He was 83 and, according to his family, died peacefully. During his days at Weaver, Egan was nicknamed Space, because at a time when the United States and Soviet Union began to explore beyond the Earth's atmosphere, he was appearing to break the bonds of gravity, though he was just 5 feet 11. I could stand under the basket, take one step and dunk it, and at 5 11, that ain't easy, Egan told the Courant in a February 2021 interview. They used to say, Egan's a freak. I used to float in the air. I could jump, and I'd float in the air a long time. Egan, 25th on the Quran's list of top Connecticut athletes of the 20th century, grew up on Branford Street in Hartford and started playing basketball in 6th grade, often taking on bigger, older kids at Kenny Park. In 1957, he led Weaver to an undefeated season, scoring 36 points in the New England Championship game at Boston Garden. Four years later he led Providence to the NIT Championship at Madison Square Garden. He scored 1,434 points in his college career. He played in the NBA from 1961-72, for six teams, including the Knicks and Lakers, and made the shot now called the runner, floater or teardrop shot his signature. Lakers announcer Chick Hearn called it the alley-oop. It allowed Egan to score over the era's legendary big men. Egan scored 5,521 points and had 2,102 assists in the league. Bill, Russell couldn't block it, and he could block anybody's shot, Egan remembered. Sam Jones told me once, Russell told me you were the only one he couldn't block. And when I was with the Lakers and Wilt was there, every now and then in practice, I'd have him stand under the basket and I'd say, try to block this, and he couldn't. I had big hands. I could palm the ball. I'd take it off the dribble and continued the floater, the alley hoop shot. Egan coached the Rockets from 1972-76, then retired from basketball and settled in Houston, going into the insurance business. He lost his wife, Joan, to ovarian cancer in 1998. Egan began organizing a group to do charitable work in the community from a Starbucks, where he became a regular, and taught basketball on the side. Always active and in tip-top shape, Egan was doing fingertip push-ups beyond his 80th birthday. Egan is survived by his son, John Jr., daughter Kim, and five grandchildren. The death was announced Thursday by the Nationwide Basketball Retired Gamers Affiliation. Longtime NBA participant Johnny Egan, who additionally served as coach of the Rockets within the 1970s, has died. He was 83. The death was announced Thursday by the Nationwide Basketball Retired Gamers Affiliation. Egan, a 5'11 level guard throughout his enjoying days, averaged 7.8 factors and 3.0 rebounds throughout an 11-season NBA profession with the Pistons, Knicks, Bullets, Lakers, Cavaliers, and Rockets. He was the oldest residing former Rockets participant, according to the Houston Chronicle. After his enjoying profession, Egan served as an assistant and head coach for the Rockets. He compiled a 129 to 152 report as Houston's head coach from 1972 to 73 via 1975 to 76. Previous to his skilled profession, Egan was a star at Windfall School. He helped lead the Friars to the Knit Championship in 1961. Friars to the Knit.